So you're headed to Northern Tier. Well, if you are, you're probably wondering what Northern Tier is like and how you would prepare to go to Northern Tier. Because I think for a lot of us, Northern Tier is kind of a foreign subject. You're probably a seasoned car camper. You may have been to Philmont. But going to Northern Tier, you've probably never been backcountry paddling. And so one of the big reasons I put all this hours, thousands of hours into making these videos was so that I could visually explain how things are done and what Northern Tier is like. Because I want you and your crew to be really prepared for your trip. Because the more prepared you are, I think, the more you will enjoy your trip. Now, Northern Tier is an exciting and an amazing place. You will probably never, ever go to a place that is like Northern Tier. You can go backpacking. You could go backpacking in Philmont. You could go backpacking in Colorado. You could go backpacking in Montana or in California, okay? Or in, uh, you know, hike the Appalachian Trail. It's all backpacking and the environment's the same, but Northern Tier is pretty unique. It's also very remote, which is another thing that's really amazing about Northern Tier, is how remote it is. Uh, there very well could be days go by and you not see another person. You definitely won't hear any planes. Uh, you're just out in the wilderness, okay? So you need to take the time before your trip to be well prepared. And so to help summarize a lot of information that I've contained in a lot of videos and uh, information to read in the guidebook for adventure, uh, I put this video together, which explains the five things you and your crew need to focus on to be prepared. And so that's what I'm going to talk about in this video, the five P's to success at Northern Tier. Hey, real quick, right before we jump into this video, if you'd do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, please hit that bell icon. Have a great day and enjoy this video. There are five things that you need to focus on to set your crew up for success at Northern Tier. How many? Five. And here they are in the order of operation. First, you have planning. Second, you have preparation. Third is packing. Fourth is paddling. And fifth is portaging. Yep, so that's the to-do list in that order. So let me go through and explain what each of those mean. And before I get started, uh, I'll put a link to any applicable videos in the description uh, part of this video. Uh, I'm not going to include the uh, thumbnail in this video of what each video looks like. Uh, there'll actually literally be a link in the description, so make sure you check that out. I'd also recommend that you come back and check that list periodically before your trip, because I might have added another video at some point, and uh, that will be important information for you to know as well. All right, so here we go. So the first P is planning. Now, not to be Captain Obvious, but planning is planning. You'll need to do your research for your trip and uh, make a reservation to go to the Northern Tier. At a very minimum, your planning would be research as to what is Northern Tier to see if you want to go. Along with planning, you'll need to make all of your transportation arrangements and figure out all those logistics. You'll need to uh, assemble your prospective crew and of course start collecting uh, their money to pay for Northern Tier. Uh, you'll also need to make a schedule for the crew as to when, where, and how often your crew needs to get together to plan and prepare. 
Which brings me to the next P on the list. The second P is preparation. So what does preparation look like? Well, preparation is where your planning begins to take action. For preparation, at a minimum, you will need to bring along your personal gear and your crew gear. For that, you should always refer to the Northern Tier Guidebook for the previous year and then read the guidebook when your year to visit Northern Tier arrives as the information is updated and changed over the years. Okay, so along with bringing your equipment, your crew will need to meet the training requirements. Now, training requirements can change, so I'm not going to bother listing what those are here. You need to do your own research. Also, Northern Tier is very physically demanding. Um, you don't need to be in crazy physically good shape, but you need to be in, in physically good shape. Okay? Um, and physical preparation is an individual task. All right? As an individual, you need to promise and owe your crew that you will be in good physical shape. Okay? Uh, when you're at Northern Tier, you are backcountry paddling and portaging, and you will be exercising muscle groups that you probably do not use on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you need to focus on strengthening your lower back and your abdominal muscles. Uh, practicing paddling would be a good idea, although don't stress out if you can't. But it really is a good idea to take your crew paddling for a couple of weekends. Uh, experience is a great teacher. And experience helps identify things that are going well and, more importantly, what isn't going well. So you can refine your packing list. And if you need to tweak things in your crew, you can do that before you show up to Northern Tier. And to close out preparation, your crew needs to practice portaging if you can. Uh, portaging is very physically demanding. There are heavy packs at Northern Tier. Uh, upwards of at least 50 pounds, up to 70 plus pounds. Okay, you need to be used to carrying heavy loads. Okay, um, so that closes out preparation. The third P for success is packing. Now you might be thinking, packing, why is packing so important? Well, first of all, packing is central to a lot of things in Northern Tier. And I realize you don't know that, but that's why I'm going to talk about it. Uh, so the first goal of packing is once you've assembled all your stuff and you've watched those videos and you understand what to get and uh, you start to get an idea of what packing is, uh, the first goal is really just to get all your stuff to Northern Tier that you're going to take into the backcountry. And if you're going to be flying, well, the airlines could lose your baggage. All right. And that's part of the challenge of flying to Northern Tier. Okay, is getting all your stuff and just showing up to Northern Tier with all your stuff. So I have literally an entire video devoted on how to pack to fly to Northern Tier because a lot of people fly to Northern Tier and I want you to show up or at least have a good chance of showing up with all of your stuff. All right, now once you're at Northern Tier, your packing problems haven't ended. Okay, but if you have planned and prepared, you should be well prepared to pack for the backcountry portion of the trip, okay? You see, space in the whale bags, which are the bags that you're going to be carrying your personal gear, space, not weight, is at an absolute premium at Northern Tier. You and up to two of your crewmates will be packing your personal stuff into these oversized bags called whale bags. And that is a lot of stuff. But if you've packed well and you prepared well, this will go easy. If you haven't, it won't. <laughs> so if everyone takes care to pack their personal items, then it'll all easily fit inside the well bag. Okay? And if you don't take the care and don't have the concern to uh, pack well, well, it'll just be a challenge. And then you'll have to make a lot of tough decisions right before your trip. Okay? And so in my packing list... If you pack my packing list and you pack the Northern Tier packing list, okay, 
you will end up being able to pack your well bag pretty easily. In my opinion, you need to pack everything inside a 30 liter, 35 liter dry bag. But I'm not going to go in those details here because I have videos explaining all this. Okay? If you don't get to pack everything inside your 35 liter dry bag or it just doesn't work out, if you've packed your sleeping bag as I have it asked you to do inside of its own dry bag, you can just have your 35 liter dry bag and then your sleeping bag. And voila, you have the second most popular option for how to pack your well bags. You have your 35 liter dry bag and your sleeping bag separate. But because your sleeping bag is in its own dry bag, it gives you this option. So whatever works for you. Okay, so that wraps up an overview of packing. So to recap where we are, the first P is planning, the second P is preparation, and the third P is packing. And if you've gotten this far and you don't go any further, you'll be okay. You'll have your guide, and your guide will help you through the rest. At least you've shown up with the right training, you're physically prepared, and you have the right stuff, and you've packed well. Okay? That's the foundation for Northern Tier. But really, there are two more P's that I want to talk about, and actually, I have a bonus, a sixth P to discuss. But before we get there, let's talk about the fourth P, which is paddling. So after all the planning, the preparation, and packing, now you actually get to go paddle. And if you don't know this, Northern Tier in the summer is all paddling. Surprise! <laughs> but I think you already knew that, all right? And you'll be paddling day after day after day for the entire trip. And that is what is amazing about the Northern Tier. You get to paddle for days on end. It's quiet. It's peaceful. It's just amazing, all right? And as I mentioned earlier, it would help to practice paddling before your trip to Northern Tier, but don't stress out too much if you don't get to. Uh, if you don't, you'll just take some extra time and extra effort your first few days before everybody gets more proficient. But the reality is, the more proficient your crew is at paddling, the more options you'll have while you're in the backcountry. And again, experience is a great teacher. If you aren't out on the water a few times before Northern Tier, testing your personal equipment choices, learning what's working for you and what's not, and then also giving your crews opportunity to learn how to read the water and navigate, make good decisions regarding how to make it take a path along a lake, okay? Again, learning how to navigate by reading a map while paddling along, okay? Watching all the videos on how to do that, and I explain all that to you, is only theory, and theory can only take you so far. So I really do encourage you to try to go practice paddling uh, the, sun, the fall, late summer or fall before the summer you go to Northern Tier, and then again in the spring if the waterways thaw out for you, okay? Now that brings me to the fifth P, which is portaging, which is something that you have probably never, ever, ever done in your life, okay? Uh, portaging... <laughs> If you get portaging down as a crew, well, that is your ticket to go anywhere you want in the backcountry. Seriously, if your crew understands and gets portaging, then your crew can literally go anywhere you want on the map. If you don't, you're really going to be limited, okay? Because portaging, well, that's just a part of Northern Tier. And if you don't know how to do it, it's just going to suck. I don't know how to explain it to you, okay? Um... Portaging is really just organization, teamwork, and participation. That's what it is. I got video after video after video explaining portaging. Okay, it's probably the most least understood part of going to film, uh, going to Northern Tier, not Philmont. <laughs> all right. So portaging. Watch all the portaging videos. Practice portaging. Okay. All right, so those are the five P's for success at Northern Tier. But I actually have that sixth bonus P for you. And that sixth bonus P is participation. All right, 
Nothing is done at Northern Tier without participation. This isn't a trip where you can just hide out in a crew and get away without contributing much. Everyone has to paddle. Everyone has to portage. Everyone has a job to do when you're on the water. Everyone needs to participate when you're setting up camp. Okay? Everyone has to prepare. And everyone has to invest themselves into the benefit of the crew. Okay? So to conclude, so to boil it all down, those are the five P's. Okay, really, there's six, all right? You need to focus on those six P's and in that order. Uh, your planning should start about a year and a half to two years in advance. Uh, really, that far in advance, because if you'll watch my paddling practice video, I'll explain why. Uh, some people may have some issues on the water, and you need to figure that out way in advance, okay? But... In reality, you really need to start preparing about a year before uh, your trip. So that would be the summer before uh, your trip. You need to start assembling all your stuff, getting your crew together, and really start paddling in earnest. Okay, uh, And then that should roll smoothly into the winter before the trip. So you're refining your packing list. You are uh, working on your personal fitness. And then when spring comes, if you're lucky enough that your waterways have thawed out, if they have frozen over the winter, you can start paddling a few more times before you head out to Northern Tier. <clears throat> and with all that, you should be really well prepared. And one last note to remember, uh, when you are preparing, especially when you're doing your workouts and you're practicing portaging, uh, you may have uh, commitments to baseball or some other sport. <clears throat> Don't do anything stupid and get hurt two months before your trip. If you break your leg, your arm, or wrench your back, well, your trip's probably over. You're not even going. So just be aware of that. Okay, it happens. Uh, I just wouldn't want you to do anything like that and then uh, miss your trip. And uh, good luck on your trip. Uh, I remember taking my first trip to Northern Tier, and although I had plenty of uh, canoeing experience and backcountry experience, um, Northern Tier is its own place, and things are done at Northern Tier that aren't really done, even if you watch other backcountry paddling videos, um, things are just done a certain way at Northern Tier, and that's why, and it works for Northern Tier, okay? Um, and that's why I spent thousands of hours putting these videos together for you, so you can be better prepared than I was for my first trip. Uh, and so that concludes this video. I hope you have a blessed trip. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to support this channel, remember, please subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about it. Thanks for hitting that like button. Everything here is free. I want to give back to the community. I want to give to you everything here for free. I've been out in the outdoors for a long, long time, and it's great that I can be able to give this all this information to you. That is what's most important to me. If you would like to give back, I do have a GoFundMe page set up, and you can follow uh, the link. And if you'd like to, if you're a youth with your parents' support, I would gladly accept your donations. Thank you and have a blessed day.